tonight on Lifestyle Structures. We're running a little bit behind. I was a little concerned that they might be a little too small. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. I think we made the right choice. Can I help with the horses? We actually found a product that we didn't know existed. It's remarkable. All our customers come looking for the perfect log cabin. We design, build, and deliver a custom log home. The question is, will it be perfect? In today's episode, our client is one of the top Arabian horse farms in the nation, Whistlejacket Farm. Located near Alvarado, Texas, Whistlejacket is owned by the Manning family, including Ralph and his sister, Laura. I'm your host, Craig Miller, and I'm going to take you from the factory to the farm with two Ulrich log cabins. So at Whistlejacket, we raise, breed, and train Arabian and half Arabian horses. We do that nationally. We show all over the country. We have built a what I would consider to be a, a world-class equestrian facility. Wendy Potts is our director of training. And which is kind of a big deal, considering Wendy is one of the top Arabian horse trainers in the world. So we have a couple of trainers that are here and they've uh, actually come from across the nation to help train under Wendy Potts and have that opportunity. And so I uh, was helping to build them a facility or a place for them to stay, for them to have uh, be on the facility with the training horses and also so that um, they can close to home take a breaks every now and then from the hard workout that they get each day. With a horse farm, you need staff on site 24 seven. When Ralph and his team started thinking about adding more housing space, they wanted something that would be affordable, but would add to the property, not detract from it. That's challenging because you start looking at what the options are. And the cabins are price competitive with many other options, but we did not see anything that was comparable in terms of aesthetics to how they looked and, and how they, uh, and the quality. Uh, inside of the cabin, it's, it's almost like a custom home. We actually found a product that we didn't know existed until we met Ulrich. So, so when Whistlejacket came to the factory, uh, what were some of the things that they were looking for in their cabin design? So after the initial consultation, um, we really determined that a larger cabin with multiple families involved, sharing bigger spaces, sharing kitchens, uh, just really wasn't desirable. So um, we really went with a, a smaller individual cabin approach uh, giving each, each staff member their own space, their own living quarters, their own kitchen, and a little more privacy. So what size did they end up going with on these cabins? So we went with our Bear Lake series. Uh, this is a 14 by 34, uh, which includes the four foot porch, a uh, total of 476 square feet. This here is your entrance, it's your front door, which opens up into the, the living space and kitchen area as well. Um, you've got your bathroom, and uh, this, this is your kitchen area. This goes into the bedroom uh, where you have your stackable washer and dryer and uh, closet area. Our normal lead time is 12 to 14 weeks. In this case, Whistlejacket wanted their new cabins ASAP, so we committed to building and delivering their new cabins in about six weeks. That doesn't give us much leeway if anything goes wrong. We don't have enough time to build the cabins one after the other, so we're going to build them at the same time, starting from the ground up. The first step in building any cabin is to construct a rock-solid floor system. In order to deliver these cabins, we have to build the floor strong enough that we can pick up one end of the cabin without damaging the structure. The floor is insulated with fiberglass insulation before the plywood decking is installed. Once the floor is complete, it's time to start building the walls. The walls are framed on the floor and the OSB sheathing is nailed to the studs. The house wrap improves the thermal properties of the cabin, and the E-vents allow hot air to escape from the roof system during the summer. We're a week into the project, and I'm checking in with Eddie, the construction supervisor. The uh, project has been going smooth. The plants are clear, and the framers have done an excellent job. By the time a wall is ready to set in place, it's really heavy. So the guys come over from other workstations to lend a helping hand. As one phase is completed, the cabins are moved down the assembly line using two forklifts. Walking through a cabin in the process of being built, 
One of the most impressive things is seeing how wide the roof trusses are. Besides being super strong, it lets us fit a lot of insulation into the roof structure. After most of the exterior framing is done, we raise the cabin on stands so that we can install the plumbing. Before we can insulate the walls and ceiling, we install the electrical wires for switches, outlets, and fixtures. With plumbing and electrical roughed in, we can insulate the walls and ceiling, making the cabin snug and energy efficient from top to bottom. Next, it's time to make the cabins feel like an actual home. Whistle Jacket specified the tin ceiling and a pine wood finish for the walls. The pine is not some kind of fake paneling, it's genuine, solid wood boards. It's part of the reason our cabins are so heavy. At this point, we're well into week three. The final walkthrough and delivery is scheduled for next week, and frankly, it's going to be tight. We still need to install cabinets, finish the electrical and plumbing, and install the metal roof. Our next deadline is the customer walkthrough. All right, Carlos, so today uh, is the day for the Manning walkthrough. Yes, sir. Now, what is the walkthrough? The purpose is to bring the customer here at the shop so they can see their finished product and make sure everything is in place. Um, and and if, if we see anything that is out of place, uh, we can fix it while it's here. It was scheduled for 1 p.m., right? 1 p.m., yes. Uh, we're running a little bit behind, but we're still doing the walkthrough today. All right, so it's about 2.15. The walkthrough is scheduled for 3 o'clock. And so we got about 45 minutes. Uh, the AC hooked up here. Um, so where are we at in the process? Are we going to get it hooked up before 3 o'clock? Yes, sir. All right. We've been working here today, kind of doing the finishing touches. So what, what were some of the things you were doing in here today? Um, we're, well, mostly I was installing microwaves, like in this cabin, next cabin. And I'm cleaning up for the installation of the sinks and the toilets and all that. Okay, so this cabin completely ready to go? Yeah, the buyer's actually going to be here in the Laura Manning High, one of the Whistle Jacket owners, will be coming for the final walkthrough along with her daughters. And this is uh, uh, Chris Pendergrass, Hi, Chris. our uh, new president. You ready to take a look? All right, so what was your impression on the walkthrough when you stepped inside the cabins? How did it feel? How did it seem to you? It seemed fantastic because, you know, I looked at some that were similar, um, but not custom the way we wanted ours made. And so I was a little concerned that they might be a little too small or, um, you know, feel more like a, a, a dorm room than a home. And yeah. I think it was really really well done. The bathroom's a nice size. It'll be comfortable. There's no kitchen area, no living space, private bedroom, and uh, yeah, more than pleased. And the porch right. adds so much I think, warmth and just sort of character to the front. And I know that the people who live there are going to spend a lot of time on those front porches. So. Yeah, yeah. So stepping inside, walking around, did you see anything that you didn't like or that you had questions about? I didn't see anything I didn't like. I feel like it, it looked exactly like what I expected. Um, and I think it turned out just the way I was hoping it would. With Laura giving us the thumbs up, plans are finalized to deliver both cabins tomorrow. The cabins are relatively small and the delivery access is good at Whistle Jacket, so it should be a super easy delivery, except for one thing, the porches. So one of the barns on the property has a specific uh, design on the porch entrance. And so that's one of the things we wanted to capture with this cabin on the uh, front entrance porch. So is that a design that we've done before? That is, that's something new, um, something we hadn't done yet, but uh, definitely something we were able to tackle and said no problem. Okay. The porches look great, but they're not as strong as our typical porch design. Will they stand up to the stress of delivery and setup? We'll just have to try it and find out. Today's delivery driver is Manoa. He's cool and collected and maybe even just a little bit cocky, but it's easy to tell he knows what he's doing. With the first cabin on the truck, it's time to head to Whistle Jacket.
Joe Tackett is a local earth moving contractor. The Manning family has used him over the years to help on their various projects. Laura and Joe decided to offset the cabins a little rather than lining them up in a straight line. After unloading the cabin from the truck, it's time to level it on blocks. Normally, we can simply pick up a cabin this size in the center, but with this porch design, Manoa needed to stay closer to the sides to keep from damaging it. You know, watching them drive the truck through and then position it just so, um, it's remarkable. After the first cabin is positioned and leveled, it's back to the factory to pick up the second building. The delivery for the second cabin has gone smoothly as well, and even old Joe is pretty impressed. The buildings are surprisingly great. I'm impressed with them, as well as you delivery leveling system. You got it perfected. With this design of a porch, um, if you get too much weight on the beams, it could just break that wall right in with the uh, mule, so that was a little bit of a challenge lifting this up with the open-ended porch, but everything went well and it looks, I think it looks great. With both cabins set in place and leveled, it's time for our delivery crew to call it a day. They look great. I'm so excited and I know, I think we made the right choice in uh, offsetting them a little bit and I think they look fabulous. The electric and uh water and sewer, I'll have it in within the next couple of weeks and then uh, probably three weeks it'll be a complete done deal. A horse farm requires staff on call 24-7. While the farm had some shared living space on the premises, they needed more space. Rachel Perrin is an assistant trainer. Uh, so I got my first pony when I was five from my grandfather and pretty much from that day said I wanted to be a horse trainer and here I am like 25 years later almost so. The head groom is Kristen Thomas and her son. My name is Logan Thomas and well I help with the horses. I walk them. I... And you love them. We <laughs> got a call from Wendy and she offered Logan a ride at Youth Nationals and she needed a groom at Youth Nationals, so we were the perfect pair. As soon as we got home, two days later, we got a text from Ralph and Wendy, yeah. and they offered us a home and a job here, and I, we did not hesitate. After the cabins are put in place, the only thing left for our crew is to install skirting around the sides and build the steps and porch railing. My name is Gustavo Huerta. We're gonna be building a uh, skirting uh, all the way around the cabin steps and uh, we might do uh, some railing on the steps. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. It depends on, uh, oh, like today it seems pretty good level ground and everything, so it should be good today. With the cabins finished, Kristen and Logan moved into the first cabin. What was your first impression when you um, rolled up and you saw the cabins? Um, this is small and cramped. <laughs> so, and adorable. And adorable at the same time. I thought of Little House on the Prairie because I'm old and I loved it and I, I, I've been through everything in life and this is basically all I need. It's perfect. You get to come home and be by yourself you know, there's no other people you have to kind of juggle the bathroom with or the washing dryer or the kitchen. It's nice to just come and be alone and have a place to just kind of come down at the end of the day and unwind. We're very proud to have 
the Ulrich uh, products on our property. Everything's convenient. It's beautiful. It's perfect. <laughs> it's a different experience when you deal with a family-owned business where, where they truly care about the customer and the product because their name is on each building that goes out. The cabinets are perfect. Um, there's plenty of storage. It has a full-size kitchen, which is amazing. Seeing a project from concept and design all the way to completion and set up and watching that just come to life is uh, one of the most rewarding aspects of my job. I've already told him I'm never leaving. <laughs> the chairs out front are gonna turn into rocking chairs. <laughs> I, I've lived in a lot of places and um, this is all I need in life. <laughs>